Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Gosmar TA for you guys. So, preseason has six days left and still got some testing to do with ML Senya. I didn't change up her build here yet, but I will say I did build up a little secret weapon of my own. Uh, that is going to be Para, and we will see if we can use her today. She does counter uh, a lot of meta units uh, in, in the current state of the game. And I lost two Paras the other day, so yeah, let's go ahead and see if she actually pulls her weight for me as well. I'm sure I will definitely not get 15 percented or anything like that when it comes to the unbuffable and restricts. Um, okay, so we got the Karina and Emopolitis band. Alright, that's cool. First pick means that we obviously have to pick Dragon Bride Senya. Not that I believe she's the best first pick ever. She's pretty neutral, so knights are typically fine to first pick in most cases, but uh, I do want to lock her in so I can play test with her, obviously. I don't want to have to uh, fight against them all the time, because uh, I want to be the one to use her. Alright, Minigal Lilias and Briar Witch Assyria. Okay. I don't know how fast that Minigal Lilias is going to be, but we can bring in Orius user. Uh, to the fight. Uh, we can do that, so let's pick another knight here. We have crit damage reduction because my Senya is currently on Adamant Shield, so I guess we could bring like an LRK or something? I feel like they're super weak to Bryceria. Okay, so we could go... Ooh, we could go a Tywin, actually. A Tywin's gonna hit hard here, that's good. Let's go a Tywin. I'm gonna ban protect... Who's a good ban protection unit here? <laughs> Let's just slap fire Ravi in. I don't know. There's no one else I can really think of right now. My mind's blanking. Just put this as my solo DPS, and that way... We can just we can just pick a bunch of support units to support this fire Ravi. That's the one good thing about locking in a DPS as your band protection is that you can just pick four supports and it's fine. Para's band. Oh man, I should have I should have band protected DJB. I should have band protected DJB. God, Para's so good. Okay, we can DJB this. I don't know what else I would want to do here. Because I don't have Ningning -Ning built. Ningning -Ning and DJB would, would slap. Like, right? If you just last pick Ningning -Ning DJB here, that would be amazing. But Pera. I guess Ocean Breeze Lulica could be okay. I, I still want to go. I still want to do DJB, I think. Yeah, let's go DJB. There's not a whole ton of cleansing we can do here, but can we also go Earth Sharoon. I feel like we probably could, and hear me out here, it's gonna sound really stupid, but Earth Sharoon might be decent. Oh, oh, wait a minute, whoa, Fire k -Ron. Can Fire k -Ron kill Fire Ravi? Who do we ban? Minika Lilius? Teo and k -Ron, can they actually kill my team? I'm a little afraid of the Kron, honestly. I think we banned the Teyu. Oh, he bans DJB. Yeah, that, that's the correct unit to ban, honestly. All right, HP imprint for those two units there. That's fine. Uh, might as well give HP team imprint with Senya because she's getting the team. Imp or she's getting 6.5% from the Tywin anyway, so she won't be losing out on much, and she'll be helping us. We essentially have more HP this way than if we had her uh, imprint concentrated. I don't think the Fire Ravi needs that much health. I think we'd rather protect the Sharoon. Give more health to Sharoon with the Tywin. Because she is going to be the um, the main unit I'm going to use to strip my opponents here. Oh, it's a fast DPS k -Ron. Okay. That might actually be okay for me. Let's see. Is he going to try to proc the Tywin by getting the Silence here? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, there's no... Okay, he's not on the Silence EE. He's either on the S3 damage or S1 damage EE. But that means that Tywin does get to cleanse, which is good. Ooh, very nice. Nice counter attack too. Good. Oh, nice. One turn increase. Whoa, hang on. That's nice. Now, he, um, 
Still able to go for his S3 there, that's fine. Oh, okay, good. Shroom did jump up. That's what I wanted. Now, we are on Adamant Shield. I think Tywin still dies. He was weakened here, so Midnight Galileus will probably still kill. Yeah, that's the issue, right? That's the issue. Okay, Browage is gonna go S3. I'm definitely gonna S3, there's no reason not to. He wants that defense break really bad. I'm gonna S3 and try to uh, strip everything off of my opponents here. Alright. Nice, got that counter. Okay, Wonders Potion Vowel, putting in some work, cleansing the Fire Robbie. Let's go ahead and S3, let's try to strip all of my opponents' buffs here. Missed on the Kron, but that's fine. Ooh, look at that. Minute Galilius is gonna go down. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, let's just kill her here. Boom. Nice. Alright, so we don't need to do anything there anymore. Let's just go for the... Um, let's just go ahead and attack this. Now, Sharoon is put in the back line. I don't want my opponent to kill Sharoon. She's gonna be a very, very important asset to have. But he doesn't have any choice. He has a buff. He's gonna AoE here. He could soul burn. Okay. Nice counter-attack, actually. Ooh, there we go. So, Immortality procced on the Briar Witch. They're gonna try to focus down the Senya here. And look at that. Look at that. Uh, we can just... Let's go ahead and hit the Kron. Okay, there we go. So, he did reset... Oh, see, he reset... Look, we reset him, actually. We hit him. Oh my god, Sharoon's putting in so much work right now. That is, that is hilarious. That is hilarious to me right now. Uh, Kron can S3, he can't extend the duration of his buffs here. He has to S1, and this will actually proc the Senya. No! No! Why would you quit? At least let me S3! Oh man, people always do that. They always quit before the S3. <laughs> Kron had the AoE, would have gotten Sharoon under half health, Senya would have cleansed herself, right, put a barrier on herself and the Sharoon, and we would have decimated his entire team there. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Tywin, your sacrifice was uh, for a good cause. <laughs> oh man. Leave a like on the video if you think uh, Tywin gave his life for a pretty good cause. That was a good W. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't there to see it, but... Oh nice, see, Lily is picked up. Okay, so here we go. This is nice. I can try to use Para here too, okay? We're gonna try to ban protect the Para. <gasps> no, they banned, uh, they banned ML Senya. Oh man. Okay, this is gonna be a Para showcase, right? Hopefully. So see, Lily is picked up. We can go DDR and Bunny Dom. That might be okay. You want me to go DDR Bunny Dom? Let's go for these two. So you can't pick the Bunny Dom against me. Bunny Dom's good into Sea Lilius. DDR is just oppressive in general. He could pick Dragon King Sharoon as his ban protection unit. If he does, I think he'll still be okay. Okay, Arwell picked up here. That's fine. By the way, if you want to check out more of these types of RTA videos, uh, and you are enjoying this one, then be sure to subscribe, because we post RTA gameplay multiple times a week, along with various other content like Guild War, Draft Arena, and uh, summoning shenanigans that we do occasionally. Alright, uh, Navy Captain Landy ban protection is... It's all, it's all right, I guess. We can just ban protect Emma Bologna or Fire Robbie here. Emma Bologna hits way harder, honestly, so maybe we just go for Emma Bologna. We could still go Para. Like, that's not a terrible option. Should I go Para? Sort by speed. Sort by speed. Oh shoot, is my Para... Oh no no no, my Para is just not up here, hang on. Para is here, A yeah, 308 speed, let's go Para. Restrict is pretty good on the Landy. Right, because she can't push herself up with the S1s. We might get countered into Oblivion, but we'll see. I just want to use her for her skin, just look at that skin, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the art style, like no offense to the uh, artist of the original one, but I love the art style of this pair up much, much more than the original one. It's probably like the shading or something on the original one that didn't look as good. But Earth Selene getting picked up. Okay, I guess we could pick a Fire Ravi, or we could just ban the Selene. We'll see. Is he gonna go for Benny Mara for an extra turn? Because that's. That'll be interesting. We could go on Ken as well, right? 
Eins? Oh man, that would have been cool to see Eins, honestly. Um, Lionheart. I guess we could go Fire Robbie here. Fire Robbie just slaps. <laughs> really, like, uh, she just does. She just does work. We can just go Fire Ravi. Unless we want something that can one-shot the line. Oh, we can go Hua Young, actually. We could probably go Hua Young here and just ban the Earth Selene. Yeah, I think that's fine. Because Hua Young can easily kill the Lionheart. I don't want the Earth Selene because I have too many non-attack skill units. Ooh, okay. Alright then, let's have Para lead the charge here, right? Operator Para. <laughs> Alright, let's do HP for everybody, it sounds good. Yeah, solid. We have an escort buff from Para, so she does act as damage mitigation, that is a good thing. We should be going first, yeah, there we go. We can go ahead and just S, uh, S2. Boom, very nice. Uh, no restrict on the Navy Captain Landy, that actually really sucks, but let's go for the S3 here. I am an RNL. Ooh, that's actually nice. Look at her skin uh, in the animations, pretty good. Alright, we do have three turn stealth, so we won't get stripped here, thankfully. There we go. Decrease attack is a okay. We can sleep everybody, so that is going to be coming up. At least the support units. It's going to provoke the DDR, that is fine. Alright, we are going to be able to S3. Let's just go into the... I really wish DDR could have stripped, because if we can strip the escort buff, it'd be great. I'm just going to go into the Lionheart Sermia here. Oh, Proof of Valor with an escort. That is not going to be a lot of damage from us. Not a whole lot of damage from us at all. But it did take away half her health, which is not terrible. He could stun the Bologna, which honestly I'd probably prefer. If he stuns Bologna here, she won't be able to proc the Lionheart. He's gonna stun DDR. Okay, we do have quite a few debuffs, so I don't think he'll cleanse himself with the Potion Vial unless we get lucky. Let's see what he goes for here. He's gonna just keep hitting DDR. Okay, please don't... Oh, he's just gonna focus DDR. Okay. So, this is fine, because I think I'll just go S3 into this. We have an attack buff. I know we have an attack down, but... This will at least do a little bit of something. Get her closer to dying. I do get to go again. Let's try to stun this C. Lilius. Oh, she resisted and we get countered! Oh shoot, that's really bad. This is bad. Look at Lionheart, she's gonna be having a field day. Okay. Really need to kill- my goal is to kill Lionheart before she can go. It's the main thing. At least she does have a speed buff, so that's a good thing. Alright, Arawo's working herself up. DDR. Let's so we'll see what DDR cleanses. It's gonna be important. If he cleanses his own stun, it'll be great, but I don't think he will. He'll cleanse one of the attack downs here. Yeah, he cleanses his own attack down, actually. That was pretty bad. He could soul burn this, but I think he'll die if he does. Please, salvo. Ooh, actually, no, that's good. That dual attack was huge. Oh, and then he salvos. No, he didn't need that much damage on us. Alright, Bologna kills Lionheart, that's all I really wanted here. That's good, that's good. Uh, let's go for a... Let's go for a stun here. Please don't resist. Aw, oh, it didn't even land. Didn't even land. Okay. I think she has... Oh, she does have S3, that's actually good. Let's go dual tag again. DDR didn't die, that's good. I like this. Might as well Solber into the, uh... Into this Arwa, right? Just kill her. Boom. Nice. Okay. There's no damage mitigation anymore, so my Bologna is kind of left uh, to dry here. Oh no, the Landy! Actually, no, no, no. The Landy has her S3. Oh, that's really bad. That's actually terrible. Here is dead for sure. We don't have Escort. If we had Escort, it'd be huge. We're dead. Oh, Bologna didn't die. No, Bologna's dead. The, the, he gets the dual attack here. It's over. If he salvos too. Oh no, he didn't salvo. I don't I don't think we have the means to kill. I do not think we have the means to kill. We just have to go for it. Oh, I and mean, he's giving me the little thumbs up too. That that is just some BM right there. Unfortunate. It's fine. It's all good. Um 
could have done anything different. Maybe I should have soul burned Bologna into the Landy. I don't think we would have killed though is the main thing. I think I should have done that. I think I soul burn Bologna into the Landy and it kills. Or almost kills. Arwell mitigates 30% of that damage. So I, I soul burned and did what? 18k into the um, into the Arwell. So I would have done about 12k damage to the Landy. I don't think it would have killed. But yeah, that oh that kind of sucks. Maybe a, like a follow up S two or something would have been able to do it. That's unfortunate. All right, so unfortunately we tried using Para there, but it didn't work out. Let's hope that it, let's hope that it works out for us because I've been losing to Paras, and I know she's solid. Maybe that just wasn't the game for her. We were proccing a lot of counter attacks too, which I wasn't too happy about. That Landy was countering way too much. Alright, let's see. Uh, this guy didn't ban Senya, so I kind of want to use her. No Zeo, no Emma Politis, that's fine. Oh, Lua! Okay, let's pick Senya here. Uh, what do I want to use against Lua? I guess we can go Laia. It's like the whole point of Laia existing is to counter these types of units, right? I didn't want to wait to ban Protect the Laia, because they could pick Laia here. They could like Lua, Laia, Knockwall, and be you know, completely degenerate there. So we'll just pick the Laia. If he, if he bans Laia, so be it. We can pick other units that counter the Lua. Last piece, Karin. Ooh. That's, that's interesting. She is gonna do a lot of damage. For sure. Uh, Fire Politus too. Okay. What would I want to pick into... Last piece, Corinne, and Fire Politis. Again, I think Peyra's actually really good here. <laughs> we'll use Peyra together with ML Senya. Let's do it. All right. This is like Operation Bridal Shower or something. I don't know. What is going on? Uh... Politis. Uh, I guess we could put, like, DDR in here. It doesn't look like we have a lot of damage, but technically his team is really squishy, so... DDR could still work. Let's do it. It's not a whole ton of damage on my team, but it is a lot of... it's a lot of chip damage. We can pick a last pick DPS. Because Pera's going to outspeed the Lua. Oh, he's picking Ed. Um, I don't know if I really care about the Ed there. We can ban the Ed? Like, that's also a play. We just ban him. Champs- Ooh! Whoa! Hang on! The Ed and Champ Z together! Are we doing this? Because that is sick. That is pretty sick. I like that a lot. Uh, do we go? Ooh, do we go LQC here? LQC is pretty good too. Let's go LQC. She'll help mitigate some damage uh, that we take on the team too. In case Senya gets banned or something. I don't know. We'll see. I think we ban Ed. Champ Z will counter. Ed would counter Para. I think that's fine though. I think we ban Ed. He bans LQC. That's okay. Because Laia can finish off the Champ Z, and that's the main thing. I think Senya could probably do it too. I want to give health to everybody. It's, it's a good to give health to everybody, right? Senya's giving health to everybody too. DDR is giving health to- oh my god, everyone on my team is going to be super healthy, guys. Whoa, hang on. The amount of bulk here is going to be insane. Okay, so... I guess we just rip it. Let's just go for it. He can counter us and that's fine. We can't S3 because we have an unbuffable. Might as well go for the last piece, Corinne. 
Oh, nice R now. We're turn cycling out of this uh, debuff here. Might as well go for the Politis. Okay, we can dual attack into the Politis. Oh, super nice. Very, very good. So, there's a lot of control on our side. Champ Z is a thing, however, we can just ignore him. Alright, so we could just push up. It's all good. That wastes uh, the passive of Politis. Dragabai Senya gets to go. Let's go ahead and uh, Solburn to the Champ Z. We, there's no debuff. Oh, well, there is a Pestilence debuff here, but it's fine. Might as well just throw the Sphere at him, right? Okay. He's not healing back a ton, honestly. Now Parrot can go for her S3. Okay, that's good. Uh, I could just cleanse everybody here too. I mean, might as well. Okay, and I think DDR just goes for the last piece, Karin. There we go, very nice. Oh, she didn't die to the Venom. That's okay though. If she has threes, it's, it's, it's all good. I probably should have dual tacked into the Politis. I do want my DDR to take damage though, because then Senya can just finish off everybody. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not really doing that much damage. Um, we did use our Laya skills. I don't really care anymore if Lua resets. Like, Lua's reset is super potent at the beginning of the match, but later on it actually doesn't really matter because everything's already on cooldown anyway, so it, it just kind of is up to like turn cycling at this point. You're already in the middle of cooldown, so what's well, an extra turn, right? Alright, Champsy's gonna go. He can probably just S3 here. Deal a ton of damage and uh, heal up. There's no stealth on Para anymore, actually, so we're gonna take full AoE damage instead of getting halved. Okay. Ooh, defense breaks. All right. So Para is gonna go. Let's just uh, attack the last piece, Karin. Very nice. Good. Good. I'm just gonna get rid of the pestilence buff for now. Let's just wait. Go ahead and Lua really doesn't do anything anymore. Last piece Karin is stunned, so there's no reason to hit her. Nice, nice. We're still hitting through blind, which is not a good thing. I prefer that we don't hit. Because, uh, it, yeah, I'm just waiting for all the pestilence to go away so we can keep poking at this Champ C. The only unit that can debuff Champ C at this point is DDR if I pop his skills, because Champ is immune to stun and sleep, so Pair's S1 and DDR's S1 actually doesn't do anything to him. As long as I don't S2 here, like, we're fine. Like, we're legitimately fine. Oh god, stop dual attacking. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay. So... I think Champ C's dead. <laughs> um... Because at this point, there's no S1 damage that would actually debuff Champ C, so even if I didn't kill him with Laya here, I think I still would have won, because Senya, Pera, DDR, and Laya's S1s don't do any debuffs. Uh, Pera, and again, Pera and DDR put stun and sleep, but he's immune to those, so he would never counter. So yeah, that was a good ban on the Ed, and uh, managed, to, <laughs> managed to circumvent the Champ C there. Very cheeky play, but again, Champ Z requires your opponent to have debuffs on S1 skills, or they have a lot of AoE skills that carry debuffs, so they're unavoidable, right? So they're gonna hit the Champ Z and then you get to counter anyway. But yeah. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Let's keep on going here. Oh, this guy also doesn't want to fight against Cleavers. I feel like my pre-bans are wasted in these types of scenarios. Let's keep picking with the picking up the Dragon Bride Sanya. She's just really good overall in like standard team comps. Again, not blatantly overpowered or anything. Just a solid kit. You know, some matches you can notice that she does quite a bit. Some matches, not so much, and it's fine. I think that's just what a well balanced character is, right? Uh, Blood Moon Haze gets picked up. Ooh, and a Tywin. I'm gonna lock in a uh, DJB. I think locking DJB here is gonna be solid. Do we pick, like, Fire Ravi? I just really want to pick Fire Ravi for so many games. I'm like, is this a Fire Ravi game? Uh, 
Um. Ooh. Okay. Who do I pick? DDR DJB? Do I pick like a Fire... I think Fire Ravi is still solid here. Like Fire Ravi DJB is still good. Just pick Fire Ravi and pick DJB. I can pick another DPS later. I'm just picking DJB. I don't want to get Pared here, so I'm going to lock in DJB as ban protection. They could still Selene me. Um... ML Politis is also just fine. I think it's just fine for me. Should I go for a Selene? Like Earth Selene here? Depends on his DPS, right? Oh, please don't be fire. If it isn't fire, I can pick Earth Selene and we can use it. Midnight Count. Uh, Earth Selene's not terribly good into like Midnight Count Lilius. I'm not on the highest attack EE. I don't think. He should be on the stun EE. Midnight Gala Lilius. Do I just want to go... LRK? No, Midnight Gala Lilius can kill. Ooh, Midnight Gala Lilius kinda, kinda worrying here. I could actually, you know what, I could technically go Shaltier. Shaltier can kill her, no, no problem. Why don't we just pick up Shaltier? Uh, should I go Winter as well? Roy actually doesn't sound that bad. Roy seems pretty good into all his tanky units. It's not terrible. Why would he pick ML Rowana here? He'd reset the DJB, yeah, but he doesn't have damage if I ban this. I picked all these units to fight Minigal Lilius, so I might as well just ban this. Let's just fight the Minigal Lilius. Oh, he's banning- Oh shoot, he's banning the Dragon Bride Sen, you guys. That's not fun. That's no fun. Alright, let's go for it. Uh, HP imprint for everybody is A-OK, -okay, even though Roy doesn't really want that HP, but should be should be fine. DJB on res, okay. Let's go for it, we at least have immunity on our team. It's just no one has any damage mitigation. Alright, let's see what they do, let's see what they do. DJB gonna get pushed up though. I don't think he has the effectiveness to push me back. Yeah, there we go. Solid. Uh, let's go ahead and just barrier invert and just kill this Minigal Lilius. Right? She's basically dead now. Let's go ahead and push up. So we have immunity. A Tywin can't really do anything against this immunity here. Shaltier, honestly, we don't even need to S3. Let's just go ahead and S1. Because we stealth, and yeah, he has this barrier, but he also has no damage. Okay, he's just gonna go for Roy, and that's fine. We can also just heal up here by going for some damage. There we go. So he can try to kill, like, DJB, maybe? I think he might be able to kill DJB. Ooh, he does kill DJB. Alright, very cool. Minigal Lilius comes back, but we have three fire units. I think we're fine. Unless, of course, this actually just absolutely kills my Ravi, but I don't think it will. Oh my god, what's with these Minigal Lilius is hitting my fire Ravis? We don't heal that much with this, but let's just kill her anyway. Uh, ooh, he's going for Roy, and thankfully we have Chatty. The fighting spirit on Roy is actually building up slow. Ooh, I should have realized Emma Politis would have been an issue here. Oh no. That is not good at all. Okay, so let's go for an S3 onto the haste. This will be a lot of damage at the very least. I don't know if we can do this, we might actually just lose. Oh shoot! Oh no, oh no! That is so bad, guys, that is so bad. He can now do the same thing to Roy. 
Actually, wait. Hang on. He 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 can't strip the barrier. No no no. We're good. We're good. The life steal's not great here, but we're dead. He's gonna dual attack. Yeah, Roy's dead. It's fine because Roy wouldn't have done much anyway here. He's could S3. He's not going to. Okay. Let's go for this. We don't have any souls. Uh, we also don't get the attack buff, which kind of sucks, but Tywin's dead. And now it's pretty much just, uh, he has to attack Ravi. And I'm okay with that. As long as we keep countering, I'm, o I'm very much okay with this. Oh my god. Please keep countering, Ravi. Okay. Again, not terrible. Let's go for the Blood Moon Haste. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, again, as long as he doesn't strip, I think we're fine. If there's no bus room to strip, we're good. Shelter is gonna get pushed back. And speed down. Okay, we still get to go though, and we still go back into stealth, so let's just go for the haste. <gasps> oh, that's really bad. Okay, at least we're in stealth again. He doesn't have his S3. Please counter at some point. Ravi. <laughs> Please counter at some point. Okay, there we go. That's nice. Good counter. We, we cleanse the speed down. We can go for an S3. This is very nice. This is very nice. I, uh, Shaltir is speed down, though, so... Not the greatest. Nice stun. So she loses that turn. Shaltir... Ooh, hang on! He has an S3, but he doesn't have, um... He doesn't have his buff. I don't think he kills without his buff. Right? So now we can go for the Blood Moon Haze. No attack buff again, but... We should still do a, quite a bit of damage and heal up Shaltir. Nice. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, shoot, guys. No, no, no. This is bad. This is really bad. Target debuff, too. Nah. I don't, I don't think we got this, guys. I don't think we got this. Unless we keep countering... She's gonna S3. Oh no! This is so bad! Please, 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 please. Blood Moon Haze, don't kill. Don't kill. Don't you dare. You have injury! 15k health! Robbie, please. Robbie, please. Yes! Yes! absolutely beautiful guys i think that deserves a like and a subscribe to the channel but until next time take care